Yes. Are you okay, Mr. Dorn? Uh, come in, Charlie. Just want to make sure you're okay before I went home. I'm bloody but unbowed. I assume our puppeteer and his girlfriend left? Yeah, they left a little while ago. Mm. Oh. You know what we have to do now, don't you, Charlie? We have to find ourselves a new light and sound man and a new waitress. Well, I guess I can do that all right, but uh, we won't find a replacement for Kelly's other job in a hurry. Ah, come on, Charlie. We don't need those damn puppets around here. Hey, remember we weren't doing so hot until we brought those little guys in. That's what brought the people in here. All right, all right, all right, all right. You get a puppet here, but just get one who's more obedient. You mean uh, one who can control his temper? But it ain't going to be easy finding someone with Kelly's kind of talent. Uh, it's not going to be easy for Kelly to find a job in this town with his kind of talent. That gives me some satisfaction. You know, it seems to me that you're both hurting yourself on account of this thing. Back up, Charlie. Don't be a peacemaker. I want to have that kid back in here if it costs me a fortune. Well, the kid's nuts about that little Jody girl. Come on, he'll apologize once he gets around to us. Charlie, that kid's a maniac. Didn't you see the way his eyes went blank? Just like one of his puppets. Yeah. Well, I guess you got to be crazy to play with dolls at his age. It was kind of weird, Mr. Dorn. I could have, sure, the kid went nuts, but maybe it was a full moon or something, huh? People are doing strange things tonight. You can go home, Charlie. Okay, boss. Now you take care of yourself, huh? I'll see you in the morning. Bye-bye. Maybe it is the full moon. What the hell do you want here, Dorn? That's what she'll call, Chief. Raven left a phone number lying around. So that was you who called before, wasn't it? I just had to find out where my sweetheart was. Get out of here. You have no right to be here. Sorry I missed you, darling. I stopped by to have a cup of tea. Have you ever had one of Raven's teas, Chief? She makes a mean cup. All right, Dorn, take a walk. Don't pull your badge, Chief. I was going to leave anyway. I have to get back to my office. There's a certain document I have to get out of my safe. I need it for tomorrow morning. Well, I guess I'll see you in court, darling. Yes. Get that letter. To whom it may concern, I, Raven Swift, mother of Jemison Swift. Sorry, darling. You're not going to have Jamie's millions after all. past midnight, don't you? Got that wait till morning? Listen, I just want to stay up until Jody gets home. Oh, Jody usually manages very well all by herself. I know. I just don't feel like going to bed. Yes, I know exactly why. It's just sheer perversity, that's all. You know, you're supposed to get as much rest as you possibly can, so you do exactly the opposite. Don't be silly, and would you stop fussing at me? Don't let this anemia change the way you feel towards me. Nothing could change that. Well, I mean the way you behave towards me. You never used to be fussy. Sexy, yes. <laughs> Just 
don't be different, okay? Don't start treating me like I'm made out of porcelain or anything. All right, I won't. I want you to love me the way you used to, like a flesh and blood woman. Hmm? I promise. <laughs> oh, for better or worse, in sickness or in health. Oh, God, who would have thought I'd be thinking those words after a couple of years of marriage? Well, just remember the word health. That's going to be your word sooner than you think. Oh. You know, this, this damn condition sometimes has a way of just disappearing overnight. Mm, and it will, too. You know why? Why? People in love can't be sick. It's against the laws of nature. <laughs> Go to bed? I sure do. I, look, I'll, I'm not going to stay. Oh. oh, Jody, looks like you got an escort home, huh? Hey, is anything the matter? No, everything's fine, Mrs. Kavanaugh. I just decided to walk Jody home here to be sure she got here in one piece. Good night. No, you're not going. Just come in and calm down. Did something happen? We've been fired. What? Fired? You mean both of you? It was all my fault, Dr. Kavanaugh. At least Jody won't have to work for that lech anymore. Now, slow down. Come on in. Come on in. Tell us what happened. Well, I feel terrible about the whole thing. I'm not for me, for Kelly. I was just the waitress at the Unicorn, but he, he was the entertainer. But wait a minute, wait a minute. I gather that Mr. Dorn made a pass at you. Is that what happened? That's exactly what happened. And tonight wasn't the first night. It's been happening all along. Well, it looks like the old man hasn't changed his stripes at all, has you know, he? Tonight he went just a little bit too far. You know, I can't believe he actually used one of my puppets. Well, I think he was drinking too much. Something was bothering him. Yeah, so he turns around and he bothers you. What'd you do to make him fire you, Kelly? I objected. He didn't object. He knocked him down. Oh, Kelly, you didn't. I didn't stop to think about what I was doing. And if I had it to do over again, I'd do exactly the same thing. No, I'm sorry, Kelly. I can't approve of that kind of thing. I don't approve of violence in, in any form. just wish I'd been there to see it. Oh, my I was, God. You know, I've had a few run-ins with the man, and I uh, had the same impulse. Uh, whether it was good or bad, I didn't indulge. Well, Kelly really overdid it tonight. Honestly, I thought he was going to kill the man. It's a lucky thing the bartender was there. Well, I'm sure Elliot Dorn could take care of himself. Well, still, I wish it hadn't happened. What are you going to do now, Kelly? I don't know. I'll find another job someplace. But I know how much working at the Unicorn means to you. Nicole, it's the one place he can, he can work with his puppets. Well, I'm sure something else will come along. Oh, yeah. Somebody's calling late. Hello. Maybe it's Elliot Dorn asking you to come back. It better not be Elliot Dorn calling here, not for any reason. Sure. Sweetheart. It's Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Hi. Hello, Nicole. I know it's late, but you asked me to call you after my first newscast. Oh, yes, well, we saw you. You were wonderful. Oh, oh, you're much too kind, Nicole. I was so nervous, could you tell? Do, would you believe I almost forgot two reports there? And I, uh, the, did you see the trouble I was having pronouncing the new fire commissioner's name? I'm afraid he's not going to allow them to answer an alarm if it comes from our house. Well, for your first show, you seem to be in perfect control. Oh, <laughs> well, you just rest assured the job is still yours. I'm sure they'll be very glad to have you back in front of the camera. So hurry up and get better. Well, I am tend to, but I can't tell you how much it means to me that you've done this during this time. Oh, well, for you, it's a pleasure. Hey, you're not still at the studio, are you? Oh, no, 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 I'm home, and um, I'm beginning to wonder about Kelly. He's usually here by now. Well, that's one worry I can take care of. He's here. There? Yeah, he uh, walked Jody home. It seems he had a little run-in. Uh, I think I'll let him tell you about it. Uh, just a second. Uh, Kelly? It's Nancy. Oh, thanks. Hi, Nancy. Hello. How did it go tonight? I got fired. You what? Well, it wasn't my fault. Dorn did something really nasty to Jody, and then I lost my head, and push came to shove, and I lost my job. Oh, well... Kelly, you know, after somebody cools down a bit... Nancy, they... there isn't going to be any cooling down from Dorn or from me. Because when he gets drunk, he gets angry, and then he gets mean, mean enough to hurt my puppets. i got to get over to the unicorn and rescue those puppets before he puts them down the incinerator. I'll be home late. 